Welcome back to another video. Today I am birding at the Beaver Pond Trail in Glacier National Park. We should go through a mix of habitats today including forest and wetlands, which makes this trail one of the best places for birding in all of Glacier National Park. After walking down the trail for a bit, I found that the birds seemed fairly spread out. Not many were singing, which made locating them fairly difficult. After walking about a quarter mile, I came onto a patch of birds. So we just walked through like a little scrubby area and there was several species of birds there. Picked up red naped sapsucker and cedar waxwing. Kind of in this open area here. Hasn't been a whole lot here. I can hear a red breasted nuthatch, but other than that, we're just going to keep going. I kept on walking through the open area and eventually came to a forest. The forest was quite open with very little understory. I didn't find any birds here. However, as soon as I came out into another open area, there perched on some sticks was one of the rarest birds of the trip. So right behind me here is a great gray owl. Great grays are pretty hard to see in the summer because of all the foliage. The best time to see them is in winter. But we're here in August and this one was just perched on some branches. The Canada Jays were mobbing it earlier, but it looks like they've moved on. Whenever you're by large owl species like the Great Grey, it's important to give them their space because these species are quite sensitive to humans. The easiest way to tell them apart from the smaller and much more common barred owl is by their eye color. Barred owls have black eyes while Great Greys have yellow eyes. Great Greys are also much larger and have a white bow tie. The Great Grey Owl is North America's tallest owl. Although the Great Grey Owl is one of the tallest owls in the United States, it's mostly just feathers. Both the Great Horned and the Snowy Owl weigh more than a Great Grey. Up north, when rodent populations go down, Great Greys come south in search of more food. The easiest time to see a Great Grey is in the winter when the snow covers the ground and makes them stick out more. We're going to keep on going down the trail and see what else we can find. As I walked on, a few more species were calling, including Western Wood Peewee and Red-Breasted Nuthatch. I also caught a glimpse of what I thought is a possible Bullock Oriole. These western orioles aren't very common in Glacier, but the glimpse I got of this bird suggested one. Unfortunately, I was never able to get a second look at it. So I'm currently in this like open area. There's actually quite a few birds here. I had Vesper Sparrow and a lot of robins in western wood peewees calling. So right here behind me are two different kinds of chickadees. We have the black capped and then the mountain chickadee. The way you tell them apart is black caps have a fully black cap, and then the mountain chickadee has a white stripe down the middle of its head. There's also some vocal differences. After the chickadees, I came close to the pond. The pond was incredible with the mountains in the background and the calm, glassy water. There was a lot of birds calling, so I started to pick through them. So there's quite a bit of birds here at the pond. So far I've found three different species of waterfowl, female bufflehead, two mallards, and then some kind of golden eye. It's either a borrowed golden eye or a common golden eye. I'm still trying to figure that out. I've only found females and juveniles, so that makes it a lot harder to identify them. There's been a lot of birds calling around the pond. I've had red-winged blackbirds, song sparrow, cedar wax wing, red brush to nuthatch, and a few more. I haven't found any moose, so it doesn't look like there's any at this pond. So I'm walking through this meadow here, and right now the only sparrow species here is white crown, but there's also been some pine siskins, western wood peewees, other stuff like that. Back in the forest I had a ruby crowned kinglet. The trail was a mix of meadows, forests, and views of St. Mary Lake. The only new species for the day was a flock of red crossbills that flew over. So for the last mile and a half, there wasn't a whole lot of species. We kind of just walked through it real fast. There was mostly just cedar waxwing, western wood peewee, and then some red crossbills that flew over. Other than that, it was pretty quiet. If you're ever in the East Glacier area, make sure you come check out the Beaver Pond Trail. There's a ton of birds here, and the habitat is amazing. Saw a total of 32 species, which is pretty good for August. The Great Grey Owl was definitely the highlight of the day. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see another one of these birding adventure videos, make sure you click on the video right here, and it'll take you over there.